All right, we're going to take another look. Uh, I've done this video in the past uh, with the Osmo Com Network in the Box scripts. Uh, this time, I've got a um, donated a Lime version 2. We're going to test and make sure this works. A OnePlus uh, 2, I think it is, phone. And uh, we're going to have a little fun with this. We're going to change uh, the, well, I hope, change the sound that is going to come through the phone when the BTS initiates a call automatically uh, to somebody that connects. Uh, but before that, understand that this is all a uh, contained network so you got to be uh, cognizant of d doing anything like this make sure you have a lab environment make sure that you contain your uh, any sort of transmission that's going to go out over the air so I do have that uh, kind of under control here and yeah I'm just trying to understand um, how the Osmocom network in the box scripts int uh, integrates with Asterix and so I'll try and explain a little bit of it uh, but I'm more so just looking to have fun uh, in this video and change the default sound uh, of the monkeys that normally occurs. So if we look on our War Dragon here and we locate, uh, let's see, monkeys, we can see where that sound is at. So my hope is uh, by adding to that directory, and we're going to change a uh, JSON for the Osmocom Network in the Box scripts, that that call um, or that sound effect will happen, hopefully. And to do that, we're going to do, I'm going to look back at my history here, and what we're going to do is, I've got this sitting on my desktop, this, uh, some of you may know this, ready for this Sunday night MP3, and we're going to use socks, and I'm going to convert that to a uh, .gsm file. There's probably some different ways to, to do this, but this seems to work. Quality gets degraded like a little bit. So I'm going to use sudo to copy that tt-jc.gsm uh, uh, to let's see, user share asterisk sounds en <coughs> us f allison yeah, all right, so let me think. We've got the sound in place. We can change our user source. Uh, Osmo Network in the Box scripts. And if we take a look at the JSON, and we go down to the bottom, let's enable this first off and let's change this to JC let's see what we get here JC so we're gonna get an SMS and a a call an automated call hopefully coming across to the phone I've got the volume all the way up uh, let me think so I'm not gonna be trying to hide the uh, MZ and all that, so we're just going to do, let's see, LMS, and so this, it's kind of, uh, take a little bit to explain, but I broke out the main.py to a main LMS and main UHD, because I found that in the newer Dragon OS, and I forget what it is, something with the Osmo uh, TRX, something with UHD, takes a little bit longer, and I've never rewrote the script to account for that, so I split them apart. If you have the line, super easy. Uh, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, we're going to do U for uh, interact. Default is Lime. Config, you know, that's fine. We're going to try and turn on GPRS. And we'll do dash I for the interface. And I just need to get... need to get my interface here that's connected to the internet and we'll do SIP for the asterisk uh, portion of this ah. 
GPRS, sorry. So it's going to check for the line. It's going to run the services. I am going to move this down a little bit because uh, I don't really want to. What will happen is when it's connected, we'll see the number and the TIMSY and the MZ and all that stuff. So I'm just going to move this over top of it. And let's take a look at the actual phone uh, itself. And let me think. So we're going to come here. Uh, I was actually messing around connecting with uh, ATAC over GSM. Um, still got to mess with that a little bit more. But you can see under settings, SIM and network, uh, I have it uh, set to you know, 2G and, and mobile data data will need to be on but if we come here and we take it off of airplane mode we'll see it's going to connect uh, and I had told it to connect to that network to be to begin with and so let's take our call here and see what happens There we go. So I hope you heard that, but uh, that seems to have uh, worked. So we changed the default sound that got sent to the uh, caller there or to the phone. And then just take a look. If you do mobile data on, we should uh, get an IP in the network range that is assigned there to the phone. We'll get the little E. I've never, I mean, I mean, we could try, but actually what am I doing uh, let me think we could do just as an example user source uh, blader f net and you gotta have flask installed but uh, python 3 and let's see so if we come over here and we take a look we should be able to should be able to get here yeah yeah you can see it's, I mean it's slow but so over that uh, at least locally uh, from the phone over the GSM uh, connection because that's the only connection it has to the war dragon right now and is how it is uh, pulling up that page so there you go make some uh, different sounds and um, test out the uh, the actual internet over GSM but highly unlikely it's gonna load um, you know Google or whatever I gotta take a look at that I don't know if it's just because it's so slow or something else I'm missing but uh, yeah there you go have fun with that